Hugo, that certainly feels like a massive win. What are your thoughts after that one? Well, every every win's a good win. Um, but yeah, I thought that we, we applied ourselves again really, really well. Same as we did Saturday. You know, I thought we we attacked, we created some good chances. We defended really, really well again tonight. Barnet are a good side. The table doesn't lie. They're there for a reason, and you know they pose a significant threat themselves through the way that they play the game and the way they attack. But I think to a man, certainly the back line, we stood up really, really well tonight. And um, you know, possibly could have scored one or two more goals. That's two clean sheets in two games. That must be a tremendous feeling. I, I, yeah, I, off yeah. the top of my head, I'm not sure. I don't think that's something we've done yet this season. No, Rich, Rich will be really, really pleased with that. I mean, Rich takes a lot of responsibility for our defensive work and mm. the training grounds. So he'll be delighted. But yeah, we're all delighted, you know, because if you if you're not conceding goals, you're always going to give yourself a chance of winning. As silly as that sounds, but it's but it's true. To me, that kind of seemed like one team was out there trying to attack, another team was kind of trying to run down the clock at any opportunity, almost playing for a draw. That might be a bit harsh, but obviously their keeper getting booked for time wasting so early on. I mean, how do you go about that? How do you tell our players to remain patient and, and keep battling away? Well, when it's nil nil and you know that you're having a lot of the momentum in the game, you know you just gotta you just gotta keep yourself going. We can't control what the other team does in terms of that, those sort of incidents, and we can't control the way that the game's officiated by the, the team of four, that's, that's including the fourth official, we can't control all that. So I think um, sometimes as well it can work a little bit in your favour, maybe because we put a lot of energy and press into tonight, and on the flip side of it, I mean, we got little breathers. But as frustrating as it was, you know, we want to keep the game going with a sort of side that... Um, you know, when we want to, it doesn't matter if we're 3-0 up, 4 nil, then whatever, we want to keep playing and playing and playing. And um, I think we got our just reward in the end tonight. It's obviously been a, a tough effort for all the lads over the last few days, three games in such a short space of time. Another one on Saturday. Mm. But to keep going until the final whistle like that, score a late goal, that must really help the legs a little bit. Yeah, of course. I, I was really pleased with Kwame as well. I mean, he's, he's, he's in actually in good form off the bench at the moment, yeah. isn't he? You know? And I'm really pleased that he, he, he got the final touch. To, to win the game because you know I know that Gaffer Tom speaks a lot about Kwame as well and what he brings to the team he's so important to us and uh, yeah for that we, we love him you know and the boys in there love him well that's it isn't it our forward line is incredibly strong we saw James Daly come in for Jack Barham today yeah. Unfortunately, obviously, Jack has gone off. I don't know if you can tell us a little bit about that. No, I know it's very, very I, fresh. I, I, I'm it? not sure. He's, he's currently in the physio room yeah. with Liam. So, um, but yeah, listen, it, it didn't look too great, did it? You know, because he couldn't put a lot of weight on his on his foot. I think it's. I think he got caught after the. I think you know, he got a touch and ball, nearly scored. But mm. I think it, there was a, a contact afterwards. I, I don't know whether it was the contact or the way that he landed. I, I don't know yet. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not as bad as it might look. But that is it, isn't it? To have Jack on the bench today, to have Kwame on the bench today, to see them both come on and cause a threat. So forget Josh Barrett was sat well, yeah. unusual. Yeah, we, so we've got good options. And I thought James did really, really well tonight. You know, um, the only thing that was missing from James tonight was possibly a goal. And that's not a criticism of him. Mm. But what he, what he brought to the team tonight was, you know, uh, high intensity, good tempo, stretched the back line, wants to run in behind. And, you know, you can see why he has the career that he, he currently has because he's a top, top player. So it's been tremendous support over the last three games, hasn't it? From all the home support here oh, around the ground. Brilliant. And to end these three games in such a short period of time with celebrations like that, that's so good, isn't it? There's the noise that comes out the East Bank, you know, when in, in those sort of situations, it, it's brilliant. I'm not, by the way, dismissing the rest of the, yeah. the stadium because it's so nice, you know, to see even over, over in this slab over there, the smiles on people's faces, how much it means to people and the way people all around the ground were punching the air in delight at the final whistle. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant and you know, we're so happy that everyone's gone home happy.